Hey, Tallahassee, this is Brad Fantle with Tiger Rock Martial Arts, and we're excited to offer a couple martial art PE classes for you guys. Just kind of change things up, help you stay active and physical, but also do something different. And then we have one of our black belts, Miss Petticord here. If you go to WT Moore, you might know her uh, from school. And so we're gonna do a little short warm up and teach you a little bit of martial arts and help you get stronger. So hope you enjoy and I'm looking forward to working with you virtually. So first thing we wanna do is just basic jumping jacks. And then what we're gonna do is put our martial arts twist on it as we go. So let's go and do 10 jumping jacks. So go ahead there, knock out 10 there for me. Notice how she touches her hands at the top, and then she's on the balls of her feet, like her tippy toes, just helps you move a little faster. All right, we got 10. All right, so now what we want to do is that same jump jack, but we're going to put a twist on it. And we're going to do a couple different little things here you're going to enjoy. All right, same jump jack, we're only going to do five this time, but instead of making your feet go in and out, we want to make them go forward and back. So it kind of uses your mind a little different. So five of those for us, and go one, two, three, four, and five, super. Now we're gonna get a little more challenging is we're gonna do a crisscross. So you're gonna cross one leg in front and back, and then one leg uh, in front again, changing each time, okay? So we'll do 10 of these, and go. So we're touching, cruise, and cross, there we go. Good, and just by making these little changes, makes your brain work a little different there. There we go, looking good. All right, now this one gets really cool. All right, do this for me. Go ahead and put your feet apart, and then you got your hands up, and then what I want you to do is, you're gonna step with your right foot and do a punch, then come back. Step with your left foot, do a punch, and come back. So you go right punch, left punch, right punch, left punch. All right, but now we're gonna put in the jumping jack. You ready to go with me? Yes, <laughs> All right, here we go. So you do a jumping jack, then you go right punch, you do a jumping jack, then left punch, then you do a jumping jack, and then right punch, and that's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna do that for about 10 seconds here. Don't worry if you get a little mixed up, it's just learning something new. All right, ready? And go. 10 seconds here, then punch. There we go, then keep going, looking good. Good, you guys keep going there. Uh, you got about five seconds left. Four, three, two, and one. Excellent, all right, good. So we got our upper body warmed up really well. Good. Uh, so let's go over our stances real quick. It's going to help stretch and warm up our legs real quick. So what you want to do is we're going to start in front stance. So put your, put your feet apart like your shoulders. Take your right foot, take one big step forward, and then bend your knee. So that one's bent, back leg is straight there, and there's our front stance. So you get a nice stretch in our hip there, and then we'll just go a little longer, just get more stretched out. Normally we wouldn't go this long, but we want to stretch and farther and farther. Now, if you start wobbling like this, it probably means that you have one foot behind the other. And we want to keep them shoulder width wide there. So let's change it up. And then, same thing, take your left foot, put it in front, then bend that knee. And then we just start going longer and longer and longer and longer and longer. There we go, and get a good stretch going. We're getting longer over there in the pedicure. Longer, ah, good. All right, excellent, come back up. Alrighty, good. Now, next one is our scene stance. So you just get in a wide stance like you're doing a squat. Knees are bent there, and then you get nice and low, and you push your knees out so you feel stretch in your hips and your thighs there. And then we'll just go one step longer there, and we'll just go a little longer. There you go. Good, and come back up. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna take our, some of our martial arts skills and then mix them in with some of your strength exercises. That way you get in shape, you get faster, you get stronger, and you learn something new, which is always fun to get a new skill. So put your feet apart from there, hands back up, and then you go pick your right leg up so it's bent. Then we straighten our leg, pull it back, and then put it right back down. So that's our front kick. So we're both gonna turn sideways so you guys can see what we're doing. So same leg comes up, goes out, back, and down. And then we'll pick the other leg up, out, back, and down. There, so we call that our front kick. It's kind of like a push kick, pushing someone forward. So we're back up front, okay? Now, she's gonna do 10 total, five each side, keeping her hands up, and then we'll put our physical twist on there. All right, so you guys can go with Miss Pedicord. Here we go. And go ahead and kick. Out back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, 10, excellent, good job. Now, very important when you do those kicks, when you go out, you make sure you pull it back so you work the back part of your leg and the top part, okay? Now the challenge, you ready? Sure. All right, good. So you got your feet a little bit wider in shoulder width, hands up, go with me. We squat down nice and low, we come up, we do one kick. We go down really low, come back up, one kick. All right, so we'll kick, squat, kick, squat. All right, 15 seconds of those, you ready? All right, cool, here we go, and go. So squat, then kick, then squat, then kick. Looking good, and every time, try to get yourself as low as possible. Hands stay up, body straight, very good. I got five more seconds. Four, three, two, and stop. Good, check your legs out there, excellent job. Give yourself one big clap. All right, now, what we want to work on is our speed. Now, when I say speed, I don't mean like running from one side of the room to the other and see how fast you can do it, but we mean your explosive speed. How fast you can go from, say, a stop position and then move, or how fast you can change directions. And so these are some of the drills we do in our martial arts lessons. That way it makes you super fast. So if you're playing sports or just playing out in the yard uh, with your friends or your family, it just makes you faster, okay? So, you ready? Yes, sir. All right, got a good partner here today. So what you're gonna do is squat down really low, bring your feet in, stay in as low as you can, come back out, come back in, go back out, just like that. So we don't wanna be popping up really high, we wanna stay low, and we're gonna knock those out for 15 seconds. All right, stay with Miss Pettacore, here we go. Go, 15, 14, whoo, she's smoking it. 13, 12, 11, remember stay low as you can. Uh oh, a little too low there. And, but hey, that's what we're doing. We're here to have fun, not just to try to make everything perfect. Three seconds, two, one. All right, but you guys are tough, so we're not going to stop there. Let's go back down and squat and do a couple of those kicks there. Squat, a couple kicks. Keep going, just 10 seconds. Come on, push it a little harder than you thought you could. Five, four. Remember, hands stay up. Squat low. Three, two, one. Now, most people would probably stop now and take a break, but you guys are tougher than that. So, we're gonna add one more thing. So now, what you're gonna do, you're just gonna squat, kick, then throw that punch out there. Squat, kick, then punch on the same time. Squat, kick, punch, squat, kick, punch. Oh, you're doing great. Come on, a few more, come on, keep going. There you go, get, get almost there, five more seconds. And three. Two and one. Now most people would stop from here and we're gonna let you have a break too. <laughs> so take a break there, catch your breath. Now, while you're catching your breath, the easiest way to get your air back is take a big breath through your nose, hold it as long as you can, and then breathe out through your mouth. Now when you first do this, you might not be able to hold it very long, but if you just do that a couple times, you'll find you'll get your air back a lot quicker and it teaches you to recover a lot faster. So whatever activity you're doing, it helps you recover quicker, kind of gives you that edge, okay? All right, see, she's already recovered. All right, so a couple more exercises we wanna do, you guys are doing great, is we're gonna work our upper body a little bit and get some up and down movement here. So one thing that's real important is blocking, okay? And any sport you might do, because it teaches you to use your body, you know, if you play basketball, moving hands away to get around people, you know, football, blocking, so people can't push you or get around from someone trying to tackle you. You know, even soccer things, you try to get around people. So, what we're gonna do, we've got our feet side by side. Take your right foot, stick it in front, and then take your back foot and just turn it sideways. You got your hands up. Now, it's kind of like a windshield wiper. You turn your whole body and come back. Now, while we do that, you're gonna take your front arm and it's gonna go with you. So it's gonna do a little twist there and just moves anything away. So you keep an open hand, move, and back move and back okay call it that outside block which is called a winch wiper block so the faster you can move your shoulders the faster you can move your arm so it comes back really fast okay all right so let's do five of those real quick just knock them out real quick with that front arm go one two three four five good change legs put your other leg in front same thing with the other side remember the faster i move my shoulders the faster my hand goes ready five of them. go five four Three, 
two, one. All right, so this is gonna be our last set. What we're gonna do is add that with the push up. So let's go ahead and get down. Now, on the push ups, we want good technique first, range of motion second. And what I mean by range of motion, uh, you can just hang tight there for a second, is range of motion is basically how far you go up and down. Okay? Now, instead of sticking your elbows out like most people, or they get up all high like this, is I want your body straight and your elbows in close. So that way when you go down, you're using your arms more and you know, a little bit of shoulders and the front area of your chest muscles, but we don't want to put too much strain on our shoulders. Now, if you're still working on doing better push-ups, range of motion, just go down a little bit. You don't have to go down real far. But if you start turning funny directions and you know, just because you're trying to go down real far, that's not going to help you any. Okay, so we just want good form. Now, what we're gonna do is use those blocks with our push-ups. So this is how it works. This will be the last thing we do. Okay, so this is gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be good. So you got one leg in front. You do a block, like we just did. You drop down. You do a push-up. You come up really quick. You do a block with the other side. You drop down. You do a push-up. Then you block with the other side. And you just keep doing that, and you're gonna do it for 20 seconds. And this is it, this is our final one. We can do it. All right, you guys can save Miss Pedicord. Doesn't matter which side you start with, just change sides every time. On your mark, set, go. Block, drop down, push up. Comes back up, other side. Block, drop down, push up. Looking good, come on, keep going, keep going. 15 seconds left. There you go, good. Keep going. Good, halfway there, you're almost there. Here we go, now we're at eight seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And stop. Excellent job. Give yourself two claps. All right. And go ahead and have a seat. Take a break there. You have a seat to Mr. Pickle. Thank you. All right. So uh, as we finish up our video, you guys hang in there. And I hope you enjoyed this quick little workout. And make sure that you stay active. Okay. The hardest thing about doing anything is getting started. And I know it sounds kind of weird, but once you get started, you build momentum and then you just kind of keep going. You know, think about if you had a big rock on top of a hill, okay? Hardest thing is to push that thing to get it start rolling down the hill, but what happens when it rolls down the hill? It picks up speed and it gets faster and faster and then really nothing can stop it. It's gonna go almost right through anything. But the hardest part is to get that thing to start moving so think about that is whether you're exercising, got to do your homework at home, or maybe your parents tell you, hey, you got to clean your room or you know, do some type of chore. Hardest thing is to get started, but if you get started, it'll get a lot easier from there, I promise. So we enjoyed working with you. Uh, again, Tiger Rock Martial Arts, say hang in there, be tough. Uh, things will get better, and we appreciate you.